Yes, I'm a Frenchie from the south of France, Europe, as well as in Africa. That's probably another influence that I have in my paintings. I've always been drawing since uh, as long as I can remember. Painting is more recent, but drawing has started as soon as I could hold a pencil. So the reason why uh, most of my paintings are uh, obviously uh, displaying uh, African Americans or even just black characters in black history um, is because of something very deep uh, in my life from uh, childhood and it keeps on going and uh, because I realized that I could use my art as a platform to tell a lot of hidden history, a lot of things that are not in the books that they don't teach in school, that people don't talk enough about. There's a whole awareness mission that I think I have. So, um, and this is really what I like to paint more than anything else. Why Atlanta? I guess everything is related. So my black paintings are here for a very deep story. Um, and I'm in Atlanta because I think I was supposed to be in Atlanta. Uh, this is Martin Luther King City. There's a whole black history here. It's still alive. It, it needs probably more push from um, different sources. So I thought, I guess my heart and my soul uh, pulled me here more than my brain. So this piece is um, probably at this time uh, one of the most meaningful uh, paintings that I have done so far. Uh, the title is Liberty is Not Freedom. The Statue of Liberty, the original one, made by the French sculptor, was a black lady. So reason why is they only gave the sculpture one theme which was, okay, we're gonna give you a theme and the theme is freedom. Just do a lady with that. So the French guy, being French, thought, okay, America took an entire people, stole an entire people from Africa, brought them to America and enslaved them. My concept of freedom as an artist is to create a black lady who is now free. And so he made this beautiful black lady and she was very humble because she was only holding, as you see on my painting, she's only holding an oil lamp, which is not, you know, as fancy as the torch. Um, and of course she had, you know, curves. She was not all thin um, and a beautiful lady. So he brings that to um, those gentlemen. And they say, oh, uh-oh, -uh, no, that's not what we meant. So what they told him is basically, no, we, we reject this. We want something more angular, which is a polite way to have the white lady that you have now in New York. So Anakia called it Anakia, which means sweet face in uh, Hausa language. Hausa language is the most spoken language in West Africa. So sweet face. Uh, I did it on a piece of wood with plenty of different material uh, to just to try something different. And the inspiration came from a young little girl that I saw at an art show. And that's really harsh. It looks like her. She was just so pure and beautiful and but look determined I said I want to paint that girl and uh, I have read the poem from uh, Karen Moore which is called brown and beautiful and it was basically a combination of the two and you see the background is a lot of African prints so you put all that together and you have Anakia so this one is recent uh, called BP7K uh, BP stands for Black Power. You see the fist right there. 
obvious, everybody recognized the symbol. And the number seven that I thought everybody would get, but I still have questions, is of course the number of the jersey of Colin Company. And I mix them together and bam, in your face. Je m'appelle Florence et je suis française. I bet everybody got that one. <laughs>